name is Catherine Bishop. I'm a senior here at Atherton, but I go by Kitten. A um, few things you should know about me is as a little girl, I have always been really obsessed with horses, and it's just always been a thing, and I'm a middle child of four, so in the, cor in the picture in the top left corner, you can see my little brother, my little sister, and me from my seventh grade year, and my older brother is not featured in this because I couldn't manage to get any pictures of him. Um, the top right corner is me at my job. That was the Christmas haunt on December 13th and 14th of 2019. Um, the bottom left corner is my little sister and I that was taken from baby two weeks ago. And then the bottom right is also my little sister because she's the apple of my eye and I love her. And she's mainly what I have to balance my schedule with. Um, experience number one that has led me to want to be a horse trainer if I wasn't sure about it, is um, it, going in Japanese, it taught me communication because it's another language and if I'm going to go to UK for the dual major uh, equine studies and business management degree, uh, Japanese is basically a lingua franca of business and it just takes so much time out in order to just speak it and be like, Watashi no namaya katsurin desu, o namaya desu ka, o genki desu ka rather than being like, hello, and introducing yourself, and then asking questions, and then having to wait for the translator to translate, and it just cuts a bunch of time out. And there was one experience here in which I remember we were talking about the Chinese years, uh, dog, cat, horse, and I had seen the picture of the horse, and I got really excited and started fangirling over a picture of a horse. And I remember going, oh, how do I say that, how do I say that? And this is it right here, and it's uma, and it just means horse. And I remember we had an oral exam, and he was like, oh, well, what do you want to do? And I just started talking in Japanese about, oh, I want to be a horse trainer. I want to do this. And I wasn't very good at speaking Japanese, so the fact that I could talk about it and I was pretty good at it was amazing. And it made me feel really good about myself, and it gave me the confidence that you need as a horse trainer to talk in front of people and deal with this wild animal. Um, Experience number two was balancing my school schedule with my personal life. That is my actual schedule of this year. And a yin and yang symbol because balance emotionally along with, with time is very important. Because when you're working with horses, they are very, very sensitive to emotions. And if you're reacting a certain way or you're giving off a certain vibe, they won't want you near them and it could cause them to panic, which is very dangerous for both the rider, the trainer, and anyone else involved. Um, there was one event in which it was my orchestra concert, which is worth 50% of my grade, it's mastery. And something had happened at my house, basically my little sister had gotten hurt. And I had to run home from my school and I couldn't stay after and practice more like I wanted to before the concert. And I had to make sure she was okay. And then luckily I got to the concert, I was there on time, everything was okay. But it was really stressful, but it taught me that I need to be able to handle my emotions and make sure that I am able to keep balanced in my life. Um, experience number three, um, I learned how to be an inquirer in physics last year. Um, there was this one lab we had to do, and it was something with cars, and we had to get them to collide correctly, and I don't know why, but it just wasn't working. So I started pestering my teacher, Mr. Smith, and I was like, hey, hey, this isn't working, hey, hey, um, I need you to tell me why this isn't working, how do I fix it, when will you do it, hey, is it something I'm doing? And then he finally came over and we found out that it's because that we didn't have enough textbooks lined up with the ramp so it couldn't get the velocity it needed to create the collision we needed. And when you're working with a horse, being an inquirer is very important because you have to know everything about this horse. Does it have a certain diet? Is there anything you actually want me to do? Um, what are you feeding it? What's its regular exercise routine? Is it broken or do I have to break it? It's a very time consuming thing. Um, and it, my last experience here uh, causes me to be open minded because as I'm sure you're aware, we have a very diverse school group, like even the faculty. And um, it's very important to be able to have an open mind in the horse world because you never know who you're working with. There's so many different cultures and different uh, 
uh, sexualities and just different orientations and everything. And you have to be able to work with everyone and be comfortable in order to do that. Uh, because if you can't, then you could potentially be losing business and it could be very harmful to your future. Um, there's one experience I had in which I was walking through the hallway and I had seen a lesbian couple walking alongside with a just regular straight couple and it warmed my heart to know that Atherton is such a safe and open-minded place that that can happen and no one's worried about getting hurt or anything because you can't get that everywhere. And it just blew my mind that I was able to be part of this environment and it taught me to be more open-minded. Um, I myself am pansexual, so that's great. Um, my future plans, as I said earlier, I'm going to the University of Kentucky. I'm going to participate in the dual major of equine studies and business management. Um, my career goals, uh, I hope that after I go through college and get my degree, I'm going to go to California with my great uncle and apprentice underneath him because he's a horse trainer. And then after that, I hope I'm going to be able to have my own business and just be well off enough that I can have a stable sense of income and have a business that I can flourish and not have to worry about anything. Um, I will also be the first female horse trainer in my family, so that's something to look forward to. Thank you for your time. Questions? Yeah, I want a question. So yes, maybe I missed it. So how did the, in um, your interest in horses, how did that develop? How did that come about? Okay, so I used to live in Taylorsville, mm -hmm. and I was just surrounded by horses. Mm -hmm. um, I've just always been drawn to them. Mm -hmm. And coming here at Atherton, I heard that there used to be a horse riding club or something, but mm -hmm. they like cut it off before I came here my freshman year. Mm -hmm. But I was surrounded by other people who also liked horses, and they came here for that, but then they took it away, so we all bonded like that. And I've just always been really interested in horses. But freshman year, I was thinking about giving it up because I just didn't see how I could do it. And then being in Japanese, when I just saw that picture of the horse, and I just lit up like that, it reminded me that, oh, maybe I should just work with horses. So it just helped with me staying on that path and making me realize that this is what's for me. So do you plan on, like you were talking about how the UK, they have like the, the, the in, what was the double equine studies? And, and business management. Yeah, so I mean, do you just see yourself like, where do you see your, I, want, I would like to know a little bit more about like, what do you see yourself doing with that degree? Okay, well, um, I'm obviously going to start my own business and start trading and I'm going to buy a lot of horses and just start mm -hmm. a business and hopefully train some for the Kentucky Derby mm -hmm. and I'm going to travel a lot to try to look at different horses and be like, oh, do I want to waste my time training this horse or oh, will this be a good benefit? And it's very important to have that business management degree so people know that you are capable of having your own business and that you can start it and without it, it's basically kaput. Have you been involved with like a horse training business at all? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, my mom, when uh, she was by age, she used to work at the horse track. And so I've been at Kentucky Derby like almost every year. Um, I actually got to mess around with American Pharaoh before he won the Derby. So I'm actually very capable of it. And like I said, my great uncle is a horse trainer. Um, so I've had my hand in horse training and everything. I know how to do it. I was teaching people how to ride since I was like four. So, yeah, my great uncle used to just be like, come here, teach him how to ride. Anything else? Other questions? No, I'm good. Do I leave the room now? Yeah, so we'll discuss briefly and in just about a couple minutes. I'll come grab you. If you can cut that from now.